in this lesson guys we'll take a look at group by range node so here in the network editor i will type geo and dive inside and delete this node and let's create a sphere and i will change the primitive type to polygon mesh because i want them to be quads okay and let's create the group by range group by range okay and here guys you see the group name you can specify the group name and here you see the group type you can ch uh, choose primitives or points okay in my case i will choose primitives and here the method i will change that to start and i will show you in a moment what that means okay so if i zoom in here you see here i have one polygon selected if i come here and set this one to 10 for example now i have 10 polygons selected from 0 to 10. if you click here guys you can show the primitive numbers okay so here you see i have numbers from 0 to 10 okay and here you see i have the invert range so if i clicked on that now i inverted the selection okay so now i selected every polygon except from 0 to 10 and here you see the range filter okay so let's disable that for a moment and here you see i have the range filter this is one and one if i set this one to two now the the node the group node selecting half the polygons okay because one is half of the two okay so let's leave that to one okay now let's create the delete node so i will hit tab and type delete and let's connect the delete node and now if i specify the group this is the group i created now i am deleting the groups the group so let's make something interesting here so if i come to group range and here i will delete the 10 and then i will type dollar capital f so what this means guys this will select for example if you set this one to 31 you see here i have 31 so this is the frame number okay and another thing i don't want to delete what i created the group for the polygons i want to delete the inverse okay so i can come here and in the delete node i will go to operation and type delete and unselected okay so now i have these polygons and now if i hit play you see i am creating polygons by the time okay so let's go further and i will create extrude poly extrude and then let's create that and let's set the distance for example something like that and here i will change the divide into to individual elements so i want every element separated from the other one okay so now if i come here and hit tab again and type bevel and i will click on poly bevel and now let's set a distance something like that okay and as you see the bevel is too sharp so i can change that from here i set that to rounded okay so so now it's rounded let's disable the show primitive numbers and now if i click play you see i have this effect okay you can go further guys by coming here and hit tab and type sort so now i will change the primitives number the order of the numbers okay so if i click on this one again so now you see if i come here to the primitive sort i can change that to random okay so now i have random values so now if i hit play let's change that to random let's see why this didn't update sort by type by random reverse i don't know why it's not updating here let's let's 
let's create it again. Sort. Let's do that. And let's see why the numbers is not updating. Okay, now it's updating. I don't know why that didn't update random. Okay, so now it's updating. So now I will go again to polybevel. So now you see I have random values. So if I click there and let's hit play. Actually, sometimes I don't know why Houdini is not updating. So I deleted the node and created it again. Okay. Okay. So you can right click here and let's create a play blast and see what we get. Try to load your own uh, 3D model guys and create and change some values and try your own effect and upload it on YouTube and post the link in the discussion so I can see what you created. Okay, so let's see what we get. Okay, so that's it for this lesson guys. I will see you in the next lesson.